The South African film uh, Krotoa has scooped eight international awards. The film was awarded the uh, coveted title of Best Film at the Harlem International Film Festival. This was just days after it received six official selections at uh, other international film festivals. Live via Skype to uh, Crystal Donna Roberts, who's in the film and has also been nominated for her performance. Uh, Crystal, good afternoon to you and welcome. I have one question. Why are you talking to me this afternoon when you should be on the, uh, on the cross set <laughs> somewhere uh, celebrating with a drink under a palm tree? Because I want to share all of this excitement with you guys. That's why. They, I, I will have time to go and have a drink. <laughs> now, explain to us why you're in Cannes. We, we've, we've referenced Harlem, but it's also the big film festival coming up. But what's the nomination process there? So I, um, I'm here because I won the SAFTA um, for Best Actress in a Feature Film for my portrayal um, in Kretua. Um, and then as part of that, the NVF and McAfee um, are sponsoring me to be in Cannes. And it is absolutely amazing. I just got here today. Is it the first time you've been there? It's my very first time oh. at the festival. It's my very first time in France. So I am a bundle of excitement. And are you going to rub shoulders with celebrities? Is that not that you're not one yourself, but uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that I, I have quite a long list of people that I'm hoping to see here. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely hoping to rub some shoulders. Um, explain to me why you think this film has found such resonance with audiences. I think what's important about the film is that we haven't really seen films about the indigenous people of South Africa. And besides that, it is also, it's a very important part of our South African history. Um, the whole conflict with the Europeans and the indigenous people and our history of, of colonization. And now you have not only um, an indigenous person, but an indigenous woman who try to make a difference. Um, and that's something that, that, that I think is still relative today, you know, in not just in, in our country, but in the world women trying to um just trying to you know trying to find their place in in what can arguably be you know called a very male dominated world mm. so i think that is that is a very important theme of of the film as well how difficult was the film for you personally to make what was difficult it, it was really hard um but it's one of those lovely things like you know, we, we all love challenges and we all love to be placed outside of our comfort zones. And that was lovely. Um, I had to learn um, Nama for the film, which was also hard. And it's, um, and it, it's, it's one thing to, um, to learn a language and to learn, you know, your lines and your dialogue in that specific language, but to be able to apply the, the, the proper emotion with it is also another challenge that comes with it. One of the big challenges also was that um, this woman, Kratua, died at the age of 33. And in her short life, she experienced so many things. Um, so just, just to be able to, you know, portray a woman mm. whose life was filled with, with struggle, with beauty, with love, with hardships, like everything combined in 33 years. Um, yeah, and then, uh, and then also um, her, you know, you know, her... Uh, supposed um, fall into stuff like alcoholism and whatever. So no, it, was, it was challenging, but it was a very important thing for me to do. Crystal, speak for yourself. I'm very happy in my comfort zone, by the way. I thought I'd just put that on the record. Ah. Just, just, a <laughs> final, just a final question for you. Give us a sense then of, 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 of the dialect and how difficult it was for you to get your tongue around the, 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 the upward in it, uh, intonation and, and, and the falls of, of the clicks itself. I mean, are you, yes. uh, can you do it for us or is that putting you in a corner? No, no, I can, I, I can do some of my lines. So, so in Nama, there are four clicks, um, and I could be. So it's like the one is, it's hard, and that's the one that I struggle with the most. They just, so there are four, four clicks in Nama, and then it's also very important because if a word is like, for example, Mimeba, which means promise, you can't say Mimeba, it's Mimeba. So there's a, it has to have like a, a nasality to it as well. Um, so, but for example, one of the lines is, um, uh, so it's like, um, 
you know so it's like stuff like that that and that's to happen like quickly and sometimes your tongue like twists and stuff but it's like learning the language was so important for me because um because of the fact that like not one of the kwe and the san languages um form part of our 11 official languages in in south mm. africa um but that you know it made me feel so much more connected to you know roots that that uh, um that i definitely have all right and the, the language um and it tells you something about the people who speak this language you know the people who speak this language are wise and they are rooted and they and they are rooted in right. the earth and that's how i feel about the language and the people who speak that language all right